Hey everybody, I'm back out here in my shop, and I'm gonna today. I'm gonna try to uh, start working on another CNC build. Uh, this one's gonna be uh, quite a bit different than the last one I did. It's gonna the footprint of it is gonna be based around uh, my machine here, and it's gonna have approximately 40 inches of travel uh, or a 40 inch cutting area, I guess I should say, on the X. And then about a, I don't know, 26 or so, 26 inches or so, uh, going back along the Y. So uh, one of the challenges I'm going to have with trying to use my CNC machine here to cut out the parts is that now the uh, gantry front and back and, uh, and a couple of other support pieces are obviously going to be longer than what my cutting area is here. I've got about a 40 inch um, cutting area here. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you during this build is how you can you know get around those obstacles by just making a, a good template and I bought some uh, I've got a couple of pieces of birch plywood and I've also bought a piece of half inch MDF which I like to use for my templates because it's really uh, it's really easy to cut and you can get very accurate templates and being a half inch when you're using your flush trim bit on your router table or with a handheld router, whichever way you go, uh, you've got plenty of surface there to hit the hit the bearing on, so I like to use the half inch. It works out really well. So anyway, I'm going to get started doing that, and I'll keep the camera rolling uh, when I've got something interesting to show you. Uh, otherwise, I'll keep it turned off, and I won't even try to show you cutting that MDF on this because MDF, as you know, is really dusty. And so I'll be running my uh, dust collection, a little dust hood on that to uh, try to keep the dust down to a minimum. So uh, you won't be able to see anything anyway. So anyway, when I get something worth showing, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, I finished cutting my two MDF templates. And you'll notice that I made, what I did is I made exactly half of what the uh, full size would be. And this is the back gantry panel and this one is the front gantry panel and the reason I only made half is because you know basically they're the same same profile shape the only difference is the back one has this radius here on the corner and the front one is, is squared off straight so but what I can do is when I use these to lay them out on the birch plywood and go to route around them I can actually butt these two together and you know whichever one I'm doing like if I'm doing the front I'll start on this square corner do it get about half of it routed and then pull the templates off and switch them around so that I got the other one and do the same thing when I'm doing the back and that way I don't have to make two MDF templates of the same thing I can get by using these because like I said they're basically the same profile other than that radius on the corner the holes obviously are a little bit different the front panel has a lot more holes uh, in it and also these will be opened up once I'll just use these to transfer uh, the hole locations to the birch plywood and then some of these holes down here or I guess it's these right here will get opened up so that they can use a quarter 20 T nut which will be a 5 16 hole I believe so anyway just wanted to show you real quick how I did that and also the reason I cut these first is because now I can be working on these with the plywood uh, on the bandsaw and the router table while I've got the CNC machine cutting out some other parts so as you've probably heard me mention many times before in my other videos having a CNC router is kind of like having another uh, set of hands in your shop helping you because it can pretty much run unattended especially because a lot of these programs I've already ran them before I know they're proven and I don't have to be hovering over here watching it I can just kind of hit the button going over there and do something else and uh, be getting a lot more uh, work done so anyway I'll turn the camera back on when I got something else to show okay I thought I'd turn the camera back on and show you what I got so far I've just kind of got a dry fit here got these pieces uh, clamped up here to make sure they fit right before I fasten them together these, uh, these little MDF templates that I made they really worked out great and like I said I just made uh, two halves and you know for the front I just you know routed out this one and just flip this over put it on this side and the whole time I'm 
button it up to the other one to get the right the right length and that that enabled me to make something that's this is like 40 almost 46 inches yeah 45 and 15 16 and I only have a cutting area of about 40 inches so it's easy to uh, cheat a little bit if you use some MDF templates and you know again I just take my time trying to line everything up and be as precise as possible but it, uh, it'll be just fine I think so that's gonna do it for this video uh, I'll probably come back out here tomorrow and cut a few more parts and uh, try to have this thing put together here before long but anyway if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already please do uh, you can watch the rest of this build as well as lots of other videos that I've got on my YouTube channel and if you like what you're seeing on this channel please click the like button down below and as always there's uh, a link to my website down in the description below and if you go check that out you can find lots more information not only about CNC's but about uh, all kinds of things in particular there's a lot of uh, free plans on there uh, that you can download so check that out and uh, we'll talk to you next time